Now that you know how to create and save your documents, I created a new document here. It has a total of two pages. How do you find out? Well, you can see down here in the status bar, I'm on page one of two pages. Or you can come over here and click and drag the vertical scroll bar and slide that down to page two. You can see over here it updates. I'm on page two of two now. Let me go ahead and click and drag that scroll bar all the way up to the top. So I'm back up at the top of my uh, document here, page one. And the document's about my website here, familyehealth.com. We've got our mission here, and our website's a work in progress, but that's not the point. The point is, is that any time you create a document, the default view of your document is always going to be in the print layout view. There's a total of five different view modes that you can view your document in, and to be able to change that or see what it would look like in those four other different views, then come up here, click on the View tab, go to the Document Views group, and there we go. You've got a total of five. Again, the default is going to be the print layout. If you want to find out the purpose of the uh, view here, just go ahead and hover over that icon. It gives you a pop-up and it says, okay, what you see in this view is pretty much as what's going to be printed off when you print this page. Now in this view, you should be able to see your both horizontal and vertical rulers here. If you don't see them, then go ahead and uh, either come up here on the view tab to the show group and check the box here, ruler. Of course, if you uncheck it, they disappear, but go ahead and check it. Or if you're not on the view tab, you can just come over here above your vertical scroll bar, just above that arrow. You can hover over that little icon that says View Ruler. Go ahead and click on it. Of course, if it's already being displayed, it will hide it. Click on it again to bring it back up. In any case, you'll notice that the both horizontal and vertical rulers have two different shades of blue, a darker shade and a lighter shade. For the horizontal ruler, the darker shade is your left one-inch margin. So over here, all the way down your document, is a non-workable area. It gives it some space so we can you know, make it look more aesthetically pleasing to the eye, more centered over here in the middle of the page. And then you have the lighter shade, the workable area, all the way down the document. And then, of course, your right margin, which is about an inch from the right side of the page. Then you have your vertical ruler, and you've got the top part of each page. That's a non-workable area where you don't put in text or images unless you want to work in that section and you want to watch my header and footers training video on that. But in general, it's a non-working section, okay? So everything's pretty much focused one inch from the top and one inch from the sides and also if you scroll down to the bottom you can see one inch from the bottom as well. Those are the margins. And that's your print layout view so you can get an idea when you're typing in your text that it won't print the bottom section here because there's nothing there. Okay. The other views here that you have is the full screen reading view. Click on that. It turns your document from print layout into a book style format. So you've got your left and you've got your right pages. You want to go to the next two pages, just go ahead and click on the arrow. There's page three and four. You want to get out of that, go ahead and click close. And then when you close out of that, it goes back to your default view, the print layout. Next we have the web layout. When you click on that, it'll show you what it looks like when somebody views it from the web browser. It's more stretched out there. And then we have the outline view. Now this one requires a separate training video to go over this view. It's a little bit more in depth, but in any case, let me summarize it. Basically, this view is for those uh, headings that you have for your, well, in this case, for my paragraphs. So I have, you know, heading and then the uh, supporting body for the heading and then heading. In any case, I would go ahead and I select my headings here and give it a heading style like heading one, heading two, heading three. And again, that's another video about your styles. And what I can do is that once I convert this into a header, and all these others are headers as well, I can go ahead and collapse all the text here and just show my headers. So it's like an outline. So I can just view my headers, or I can go ahead and expand it and view not only the headers, but their supporting uh, text there. Why would I want to do that? Well, there may be times where I've got to give a synopsis of what I'll be covering, and I don't want to have to scroll, 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 scroll to find each header. I can just go ahead and collapse everything so I just see my headings, you know, step five family, step four emotionally, step three mentally, and just show those um, headers there and hide everything else. To get out of this view, let's go ahead and click close. And not only does it close us out of that view, but it takes us back to the print preview and it takes us over to the uh, home tab. So I have to go back to the view tab to go to the last one, the draft. Go ahead and click on that one. The draft view is a mode that only shows text. So if I have images, it doesn't show those or any layouts. So the main focus here is just the text. And this could be helpful if you have a lot of pictures, but when it comes down to it, it's the content, what they'll be reading, not necessarily the pictures, then you can hide those and then just go ahead and go over the content here, the text, making sure that everything reads correctly and that it actually has meaning without having to be distracted by the pictures. Then when I'm finished, go back to print layout view. That's my favorite view.